Hey everyone, this is Ben and thank you for joining us on this episode today. Well, we are going to be talking about connectivity today as far as um, being out in the middle of nowhere and only having one bar or even almost nothing on your cell phone. And when we are overlanding or we are boondocking or dispersed camping, um, having emergency communications is a vital part of being out of nowhere. Now, just recently, uh, a buddy of mine uh, uh, was in Colorado and they had an issue uh, at 11,000 feet where their trailer or the camper overturned. Um, but they did not have any cell service uh, up there at 11,000 feet. Fortunately, they did have an emergency communicator, their Zolio, where they could uh, send emergency messages. But today, we're not gonna be talking about emergency communicators. We're gonna be talking about cell phone boosters. And there are several out there. And uh, today's video is sponsored by Highboost. And Highboost is a uh, cell phone booster that will intensify or amplify your cell phone uh, signal all the way up as far as sometimes five bars. So let's go check it out and see what this is all about. So let me tell you how the high boost booster works. Okay, so this right here is the antenna. Uh, the outside antenna picks up the signal from the nearest cell phone tower and sends it to the booster. So it's going from the antenna to the booster right here and it looks like a little mini amplifier okay then the booster amplifies the signal and the inside antenna rebroadcasts the enhanced signal throughout the truck so um, even if you have one bar and sometimes when we're going through mountain passes or in the middle of nowhere you have one bar and we all know how frustrating that is trying to uh, navigate with your GPS or anything like that on your cell phone. Well, this, I've seen it go all the way up uh, and amplifies it up to five bars on your cell phone. Now, what you see behind me is the new Highboost uh, Travel 3-Point Explorer X. Now, they just came out with this about a week and a half ago, and the difference between this and the prior model is the antenna, which is this right here, uh, allows you to fold the an antenna up or down 180 degrees. So if you're going uh, traveling, uh, you, have the, you have the option to fold it flat uh, when you're, you're going into a garage or going under trees or parking somewhere. And then when you're traveling, you go ahead and prop it straight up. Now the Highboost 3.0 Explorer X offers enhanced signal stability with its powerful booster and rugged outdoor antenna. It's designed to withstand extreme conditions and this thing is tough. It redefines the on the road connectivity providing improved cell, text, data and video stability uh, even in the challenging areas. So we are going to go ahead and install this. I'm going to show you how to put it together and then we're going to do a test. Now, when you look at the amplifier right here, uh, it's high quality metal uh, build with the construction that ensures enhanced impact protection. Uh, it's a dual silicone side and it hollow design offers heat uh, dissipation. If you look at the heat sink uh, fins and it uses high grade materials and the sides are um, protected with uh, rubber if you look at the left and right side and this will be mounted inside of the vehicle and it's really easy to set up it's just uh, got easy connections and I'll show you that uh, here in just a second and like I mentioned the antenna is foldable for 180 degrees now I saved some time and I mounted the base mount which will go on here uh, on my to a pro rack already to save some time uh, but I'll show you how I did that as well now equipped with in this kit is the foldable antenna mount for optimal signal and reception from distance towers now just remember uh, this 
uh, setup, you will need at least one bar, you know, th because this enhances the signal and it's easy to set up and store it. All it is is you just push a button and it flips right up. You pull it up, push the button, put right, push it right down, and it's the foldable design for perfect for quick adjustments during your travels. Um, and like I said, this is not a you know, a, I would say a go-to all savior thing for being out in the middle of nowhere you know uh, this is just another tool that you can have like i carry a zolio uh, emergency communicator i also have a starlink uh, for my internet connection in the middle of nowhere and then this so those three things um, one of them will be able to put me in touch with someone or i'll be able to communicate with uh you know somebody in case of an emergency so those are the three things I carry, which I think is a vital part if you're in the middle of nowhere. So my Zolio emergency communicator, whether it's a Garmin inReach, my Starlink uh, satellite uh, internet, and then this right here, my high boost uh, cell phone booster. So let's go check it out and uh, let's go put this thing together and let's go ahead and install it so I can show you how this thing works. So I laid everything out for you guys to see what comes in the kit of the Travel 3.0 Explorer X. And it's, it looks like a lot, but it's not, and it's so easy to set up. Uh, first of all, uh, you are going to get a user manual, and um, it does give you the app where you can test your cell phone booster. Uh, and we'll show you that in a little bit. So um, it's pretty detailed in here. So that's a really cool option. Um, you are going to get the booster. And like I said, you know, it, it, it tells you how to hook it up. You know, the indoor, the DC in, uh, the USB and the outdoor. So that is pretty much... Um, not very hard to hook up. You are going to get the outside omni directional antenna. Uh, you are going to get the inside power antenna. So this will mount inside of the vehicle. You are going to get the outside 15 feet of cable right here. Um, you're going to get the DC power supply and that will plug into the, the box. You will get uh, some mounts if you decide you want to mount it around some uh, a roll bar or uh, anything uh, square or round. They will give you also some uh, mounting screws. Uh, of course tie wraps or zip ties and then you get your antenna with your extension and then your heavy-duty spring now like I mentioned earlier that the previous model did not come with the uh, folding 180 degree um, adapter it just came with this right here so you were not able to fold down your antenna and then it gives you the antenna base uh, fold down uh, so when you fold your antenna down it will lay right into the uh, base right there so that's a really cool option the only thing I don't like is um, they give you uh, there's no screw hole in here so it's basically I would say you would have to use 3M tape um, on that, but that's not a big deal. But kind of wish there were a uh, maybe a plate, and you you bolt it down, and then you slide this into that plate. But you know, uh, no big deal. We can get around that, and that's it for the kit. And then of course the folding mounting bracket right there, and. I'll show you that because I just mounted it and I mounted the folding mounting bracket right up on here. Um, perfect spot because when I open my rooftop tent uh, 
it only comes to about here and like I said this is uh, basically you pull that out and then this flips up or down um, I can't do it with one hand but um, I did mount two bolts already uh, I drilled these two holes into my tool rack and I will show you that and when we install the antenna but uh, really simple so let's go ahead and ins uh, install or put together it, the antenna it uh, all this stuff runs internally so there's no cables sticking out or showing um, anything so it's a real clean install so like I mentioned this is the uh, antenna itself uh, really tough uh, it's a hard plastic but uh, um, let's go ahead and install it so first thing you want to do is you want to run your cable through the antenna um, base and it comes out right there and then it just threads right on and then we'll tighten everything up once we get everything set up now on the bottom of this base you have the uh, there is another adapter and you can see that it has a a, uh, a cutout right there so your antenna will actually run out from there so let's go ahead and put that out you might want to bend it just a little bit so that way you can get it out just like that and then just run it right up through there and then you want to screw that on okay so this thing's really really simple okay just like that now you can take your heavy-duty spring and this is so if you do hit a tree branch or anything like that, um, the antenna will kind of flex or give way. So this is your heavy duty spring. And this is designed so if you are going under trees or anything like that, uh, this thing will bend and give way so you don't damage your antenna. Now it does come with a concave washer. So make sure you put the washer on the right way and and I guess if you really want to you could put some Loctite on there um, if you feel comfortable doing that and then basically you can take your zip tie and zip tie it right here to prevent it from going up or down and we'll do that just a little bit so let's go ahead and put this thing on to the base mount okay so this is that new base mount I was telling you about I still need to put the screws in here and we'll do that in just a second but it allows you to pull this button out and you can rotate this thing 180 degrees which is pretty cool and then release it and then it's stable all right okay so let's install the antenna and like I said all you have to do is just thread this thing in
and there you go. You just uh, put it up that way, or set it down that way. Um, we are going to go ahead and hook everything up uh, using my Blue Eddy AC50 because I don't know where I'm going to mount this amplifier yet in the truck. So for today's video, we are just going to simulate that we've got it hooked up in the truck and like I said, using my power station, my AC50 uh, from Blue Eddy. So let's go ahead and uh, start plugging some stuff in. So uh, on the back, uh, it does say outdoor. So you are going to take your 16 feet of cable and plug it into the outdoor plug here. Just like that. And then you're going to take your other part of your cable and then you're going to run it to your antenna, which is back there. So Okay, so I've got my outdoor antenna. Then I am going to take my indoor antenna right there and plug it into the indoor antenna port. Like I said, it's really, really simple. Okay. And then I am going to take my DC in Plug it into the DC 12 volt plug. And you can also hardwire this in if you want to, but um, we'll just, uh, we're gonna be just using a 12 volt right now. Okay, now I am looking at my cell phone and I only got two bars right there so okay so let's go ahead and power on my blue eddy ac50 it's got a hundred percent and let's power on the dc output okay as you can see it is searching thinking powering on and you got three blue lights right now Sorry about the, the uh, lighting. Get that out of the way. Just a little cleaner. Antenna right there. You do have a USB uh, plug there as well. Okay. So this red plug here on the DC uh, plug is to turn on and off the, the amplifier. So as I hit it, you get uh, three blue lights came on. When you hit it, it shuts it off. So right now we're seeing um, what kind of amplifier we got. So we're letting this thing boost up. All right, gang, I just went ahead and restarted my cell phone. And I must say, I went from one to two bars because I've got pretty crappy connection around this area. And look at that. I went up to full five bars. That's pretty amazing. Um, this thing is screaming wicked fast. And wow, that's amazing. So this system right here works with all U.S. carriers across the United States. And I'm going to drive around the area in some remote areas where I've got really bad cell phone coverage and see how well this works. But I'm highly impressed. If you're looking to get uh, a system like this from Highboost, go to highboost.com. And if you're looking to save some cash, 
Um, I will post a discount code in the description box below. And like I said, I can save you a couple dollars uh, on the system using the code uh, um, I put in there. But I want to thank uh, Hibus for sending us the Travel 3.0 Explorer X for testing and review. And I'm looking forward to using this system uh, when we hit the road. Um, like I mentioned before, this is one of the tools I think is vital for emergencies, um, communications while you're out there in the middle of nowhere. Um, having one of those three items, like I mentioned, uh, emergency communicator, uh, a Starlink uh, uh, satellite, and a cell phone booster could be a difference between um, life or death in my uh, in my books, as well as a important uh, a medical kit as well. But if you got any questions, pop them in the uh, comment box below. And if you made it this far in the video and you're a subscriber, thank you for uh, subscribing. If you're a first time viewer, hit that like, comment, and hit that bell notification. And hit all notifications and you'll be notified every time I post a video. Um, but I want to thank you guys for joining us today. Again, check out Highboost Travel 3.0 Explorer. Highly recommended. Until the next video, this is Ben from Semper Gumby, out.